For most people, SpaceX is the name known when it comes to starships, space planes, rockets, Star Wars, um, wait, no, not Star Wars, but basically SpaceX is the premier spacefaring company and the average person who doesn't know the first thing about space exploration, at least knows the company called SpaceX, that is constantly launching and exploding rockets. But SpaceX isn't the only company making great moves in the field of space exploration. In fact, in a few years, many are saying that SpaceX's star project, the Starship, may be usurped by another project, the Dream Chaser. The Dream Chaser could outclass SpaceX itself. This is Super Freaky Science, and today we'll go through the design and potential of both ships and we'll be checking out which ship will be more important. So, where do we start? Well, we would have said at the beginning, but we've already done a video of the beginning. So, instead, we'll be starting somewhere near the beginning. Are both ships space planes? First off, what are space planes? The easy answer would be a space plane are planes that can fly in space. While the answer may not sound very smart, it isn't too far away from the truth. Space planes can fly like an aircraft in Earth's atmosphere and can maneuver like a spacecraft in outer space. So, space planes are planes that can maneuver in space and the Earth's atmosphere. Since we've started building rockets and spacefaring, we've only managed to build three space planes. The first of which was the space shuttle built by the United States of America, and the second was the Buran, which was the first space plane to be produced as part of the Soviet Russian Buran program, and the latest one, the Orbital Test Vehicle, is a reusable robotic spacecraft. The space plane is operated by the United States Space Force Command and it took its first flight in 2010. For now, all space planes that have been created or have been planned all launched vertically on a separate rocket. Now that we know what space planes are, let's take a look at the Dream Chaser to see what sort of space plane it is. The Dream Chaser the Dream Chaser, yes, this is its real name, and it's amazing. The plane is an American reusable lifting body space plane being developed by the Sierra Nevada Corporation SNC, space system. The vehicle was originally intended to be crewed. There will be two versions of the Chaser. The first will be the cargo variant, which will be designed to carry cargo to and for low Earth orbit. The Cargo Dream Chaser is designed to resupply the International Space Station with both pressurized and unpressurized cargo. Like all space planes before it, the Dream Chaser will be launched vertically. It may look like it can launch horizontally because it has wings and looks like a fighter jet, but it really can't. It will launch on the Vulcan Centaur rocket and will launch horizontally on a conventional runway. The second is the crewed version, which will be able to carry up to seven persons to and from the low Earth orbit as well. The crewed version will have the same launch and landing mechanism as the cargo version. Now, the Dream Chaser is still in development, so while we know what the space plane will be able to do, in theory, we haven't tested it quite yet. Anyway, the plane is set to be launched in 2022, so we should know about the true capabilities of the plane by next year. The Starship Like the Dream Chaser, the Starship is still in development. However, the process for the development of the Starship is a lot more complicated than that of the Dream Chaser. For one, the Starship is being built by Elon Musk to go into space, so it isn't just a space plane made for gliding about near space like the Dream Chaser, it's made for actual space fairing. But the fact that Musk and SpaceX say something doesn't make it true. We aren't quite sure that the Starship can even be built. There are so many details that SpaceX has to test and deliver on. 
In fact, testing on the second stage Starship, which will be the actual space plane, has been going on for about two years, and we aren't quite sure whether the thing will work. Sure, some launches have been amazing, but some have gone terribly. However, the Starship isn't exactly a castle in the air project. In 2020, NASA selected a modified crew-rated Starship system as one of the three potential lunar landing system concept designs to receive funding for a 10-month-long initial design phase for the NASA Artemis program. SpaceX hasn't yet presented their prototype to NASA, but the fact that NASA approved it in the first place means that they believe that it can fly. Now, whether they believe it can take us to Mars is an entirely different kettle of fish. Now it's time for our tiny wager. So here goes. I'll tell you a super freaky fact, and you tell me if it freaked you out. If it did, hit the like and subscribe button, and if it didn't, well, just hit it anyway. Be a sport. There is enough DNA in the average person's body to stretch from the sun to Pluto and back 17 times. Just don't tell Elon Musk about this. Did I blow your mind? Of course I did. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons, will you? Dream Chaser versus Starship So, here we have two different space planes with two different purposes, made by two different companies going head to head. Which one do you think will become the most important space plane? Going by specs and intent alone, it's clear that the Starship project is a lot more important. After all, this is the space plane that may take the first human beings to Mars. But is it? Will it take us to Mars? The problem with the Starship is that we've never built anything like it, and we don't know if we can build anything like it. Sure, we may be able to, but there's always a chance that we can't. The same isn't quite true for the Dream Chaser. We've built vehicles that can do what the Dream Chaser is built to do. However imperfect, we know that we can come up with something like that and it would work. That's why the Dream Chaser could outclass the Starship. The Starship is a dream that's logged in the stars waiting for Elon Musk to reach out and pluck it, while the Dream Chaser is already here. We no longer have to chase it. That's it guys, you know the drill, if you love the video hit the like and subscribe buttons, good, and remember to study science, we'll study the freaky for you.